and Goliath. A story about courage. While Saul was king of Israel, the Philistine army came to do battle with the Israelites. Among them was a giant named Goliath. He was over nine feet tall and impossible to fight. The two armies faced each other on opposite hills with a valley in between them. Every day, Goliath shouted a challenge to the Israelites. He wanted to settle the battle with a single fight. But when Saul and his army saw him, they were terrified. Choose someone to fight me. If your man kills me, then we will be your slaves. But if I kill him, you will be our slaves. Who is brave enough to fight Goliath? I don't want to fight a giant. Neither do I. No one meant Goliath's challenge. The two armies continued to face each other day after day. But when Goliath appeared, the Israelite army ran away in fright. Back in Bethlehem, Jesse was worrying about his sons who were in the Israelite army. He called his son David. David, go to the Israelite army camp and take your brothers some food and see if they are all right. David arrived in camp and found his brothers. As he was talking with them, he heard Goliath shout his challenge. David was amazed that no one would fight Goliath. He believed God would help him, so he volunteered. There is no way you can fight Goliath! You're just a boy! Don't worry. The Lord will save me from this Philistine. Armed with only his shepherd's staff and a sling, David started across the valley to fight Goliath. Goliath couldn't believe Saul had sent a shepherd boy to face him. David wasn't afraid. He knew God was with him. You have no sword? Only that little sling and some stones? I'll feed you to the wild animals. You've come with a sword. I came in the name of the Lord Almighty. David put a stone in his sling and swung it hard. The stone cracked Goliath's skull. He fell defeated. Did you see that? David has won a great victory! When the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they turned and ran back to their own country. 